Hello, the game has started. It's me to go first. Pretty unbalanced rack. But I think I can make a good play with Zooey for 54. Pretty good. I would have Epifauna onto an A or through an A. And I only say pretty good because my rack leave of IU was potentially going to lead to a horrendous rack and it certainly is not as bad as it could have been. F and B, useful scoring tiles when you have vowels to get rid of. It would be nice to play off F, U and P and I could do that with Pathui which does play above the, the top of Zui. So if opponent doesn't play an A, that would be my preferred move at the moment. And opponent could well be attracted to this Z. Just wondering if I have anything onto that. I'm wondering about Unphase. It may have a sticky D. And it may not. And that gets rid of U and F, and that stays available. And Pathui's been blocked, so in the first instance, is this good? Well, let me first consider any alternative spots for Pathui, and I don't think there are any. So let's see if this stays on. It does not. Okay. So I could play Pathui onto this eye for a very low score, but completely... Well, completely sorting the rack out, leaving bingoy tiles, but Val heavy, so that's not good. I have Zupan, which gets rid of two out of F, U, and P. Well, that's 32, that's not bad, doesn't give much away. Is there anything else I should be considering? No, I don't think think so I'm going with this wow three eyes that's horrendous fortunately I do have a bit of a lead I may need to change with this rack I do have Finny through the end but that's only seven points and it's leaving four vowels so changing would be better what a dismal position to be in yeah, I kept FIE and drew four vowels, so just one of those things. And I think I'd need to score upwards of 20 points in order to not change. So I think the highest I can score is Phi next to Zupan. 19, keeping four vowels. Probably borderline. Well, that may be worth doing. Doesn't give terribly much away. Zupan only takes an S. I have the tiles for an IFY ending, but the rest of the rack is just vowels. Ivory super blocky because no tiles go to the left or right of the V. So no two letter V words. I could play through the V. Well, V can be a good tile for getting rid of vowels. Plays like VIE, but that doesn't work here. And VAE doesn't work. Nothing beginning with the Y. I do have AI retaining the F. Okay, so just 24, which is good. A couple of new floaters and... Yeah, this, this works, fortunately. I have Theory for 18, and that is better than changing. I'm going with this. Pretty good. May not be a 7, there would be an 8 through the right floater. Not too many floaters on this board. How about the N? Not seeing anything. And the F, not seeing anything there either. Theory takes an R at the end. 
Now, column five, looking quite handy with this M, I could play Amma. I could play Agami, interesting. Does take C, D and S, but it's a handy score. Now, what else is available? What about playing over the top of Fairy? Not seeing anything there. So I have I, M, A, G, but that's it. G is available as a floater, but doesn't make a bingo that I can see. Not seeing anything through KI, not seeing anything beginning with Y. Now M can go to the left of the U, but I don't have a vowel that goes next to the P. Now, opponent has blocked my Amiga spot. Well, he's prevented me from playing. It still plays, but an I would remain on my rack, which wouldn't be so good. No, it's Agami I was thinking of, and that doesn't play. Nothing goes in front of Inia. So, again, tricky position to be in. And this looks quite a balanced rack. I feel like I should I should have options, but I'm just not seeing them. I don't have any VAM words. So what about playing Ami? 26 points, that's a half decent score. This is a half decent rack leave, could certainly mature into a seven letter bingo with an N or an E. And there are seven letter, quite a lot of seven letter lanes on the board. And Ami gives nothing away. I am going with this. And I duplicate two of the tiles on my rack. I would have litigate onto an E. No, wow, great bingo for opponent. And he plays two E's, but they're in the wrong spot for me. And we are dead level. And there goes the first blank. No R for Feria, still three R's to come. No front extensions of Zui. Now, do I definitely not have a bingo here? I don't think Litigate's got an anagram. How about the R? Not seeing anything. How about the D? Digital, but that leaves a T on my rack. And the N? So I would have the anti-prefix, well, I'm not seeing a bingo. I could play git in row C. We're, we're dead level. And this is quite a bingo -y board. So I don't want to be going out of my way to close the board down when I don't have a good lead. Don't have anything beginning with V. So this is Git and I'm slightly concerned about it. It's only 17 points and there could be a medium score in row B. I guess that isn't massively dangerous. Rack leaves pretty good, slightly vulnerable to drawing vowels. Always better to keep more consonants than vowels. But if I avoid duplicates, I could have a decent rack. But can I do better than Git? It just feels weak. What about a play down column three? G, A, L or T? And then I, Gatti, Galley. Well, how annoying. That would have been quite a handy score. 
I'm going back to this play and it does stop opponent from playing in the same spot. Uh, 17 points. Well, I don't have a bingo, but I do have uh, the X. Do I have a play in row B? No, I don't have anything which goes in front of I, F. Still no R for Feria. The X can go next to the U, but I can't get that to play twice. Now, could there be a bingo with this rack? I think it's unlikely. It's not come to mind. And the E is the most promising floater. Now, my X could go underneath that E, but I don't have an E for going under the R. So I can't get that to play twice. Nice play by opponent, 48 points. I do have the tiles for Sank, but it doesn't get tripled. But I could have a better option for the, for the X now. I can't see a play beginning next to the U or the A. Axe for 22, keeping Clint. That doesn't feel great. I think I'd rather play Zoo. But this isn't a great rack leave either. Do I have a play in row B? No, not seeing one, and no R for Trank. I think I do need to get rid of the X because the rest of the rack is fairly bingo-y. Tex is good, 12 minutes on my clock. So this is slightly better, Nix. It does take an E, but that will provide access to row O, and it's 25 points. Can't see a way of extending that. So ATI or ALI? No. So it's only Nix. Or I could play Ticks in that spot, avoiding the easy E hook. Yeah, I'm going with this. So I have Dulcian. Does that play and is Incudal good? If Incudal is good, that plays in column 11 as a double-double. But it may just be Dulcian, which does play in row M. Great. So I should be bingoing. I don't think opponent can block both. And if for any reason he can, well, I have quid in row A. Do I have a bingo through this queue? I don't think I do. Six points between us. Well, I think in my last game I had no bingos at all, and it's taken me more than half this game to get one down. But I think I am on the brink of bingoing. I guess I wouldn't be. If, well... If Incudal wasn't good, an opponent blocks Dulcian, but that has not happened. So, Dulcian for 67. I'm just wondering whether it does take an A. I'm not sure about that. But Incudal, if it exists, certainly doesn't take anything. And it is good. Fantastic. And look at this pickup. Two S's. What a beautiful sight. And I lead by 30 points. So I have stadials on my rack through this L. Will that stay available? And I have caddy in row A as a non-bingo. I have... to Zadik in row A. Casidas doesn't fit. I think Tzadik is good. 48 points. 
but certainly Steedials is better. It's a bingo. Is Stadia's good? Interesting, because I think Woven may take an S, so Stadia's could play. I don't think I'll ever be free of doubt from words. I basically made a decision to learn all the words approximately rather than a smaller selection really well. So the price I pay for that is permanent uncertainty. But I love having seen all the words, even if I don't always recall them. So Stadial's blocked. Do I have anything through C and H? Not seeing anything with the H. How about the C? No, not seeing anything there. IF not looking good. TE not available. I do have Sadiq or Cade. I trail by about 10, 11 minutes on my clock. So I have die cast. Any seven letter lanes I haven't considered. What about this T? No, I'm not sure on stadias, but have I exhausted every spot for it? I think I have. So do I play caddy? Or to Sadiq? I'm going to play the longer word because there is a blank to come for 48. Not good. Okay, well that's fine because I can just play caddy. Pretty good. This looks close to a bingo. Just checking the spelling of Zadik in case I put down something I didn't intend to, but that's not the case. So, what do I have here? And what's opponent going to do with Fetch? And in particular the H. I'm not seeing a bingo through the H. How about the C? No. What other floaters are available? D and V. Seven letter lanes, V, I, F, and the I. Well, really not seeing anything, but fortunately I have the M for score. So I have stomach onto the H. That stays available, fantastic. This is a great way of turning over tiles, dampening down the board, and scoring well. Ah, I don't have stomach, I don't have the C, that's next door. But I will have something through this H. I have Homer. Let me check the remaining vowels. 9 out of 29. Wow, this is vowel dry, so... I'm not enamoured of Homer. So what to do here? I have this duplicate S and there's Queen which takes an S. No front extensions of Caddy. Still all S's unplayed. I do have homs, but I'm really reluctant to stick an S at the end of a bingo lane. Eight minutes on my clock. So what what do I have with this H? And I'm looking for something coming down column 15 onto it. It's not massively dangerous, it's not a bingo floater and it's covering the double letter square so I think I should look elsewhere. So where's good for one of my S's? I saw Queen. But 
I don't really want to play Moz or Maz because it provides access to column 15. I have the same problem in, in column 8 at the bottom if I stick the S on the triple word square. Wow, this is tricky. I know some people have commented on the length of time some moves take, but this is what real life Scrabble is like. Some moves are just really time consuming. And the problem is I don't have any good candidate plays. I've got smash in column H, but I don't want to burn both H's. So what about shoat? It's 24 points. The T is not hugely dangerous. This is a pretty decent three-letter set. And it stops opponents scoring not only in column 15, but also off this really nice triple letter square, or hampers him. And I may score well with my M in that spot. Okay, I'm going with this. That didn't feel good. Wow. I'm just wondering about smalled. I think I think it's good, but I don't think there's a lane for that. And I do draw a vowel, which is good. And I have this 20-odd lead. I showed may well be the move which has cost me this game. It just felt really bad. Remaining tiles fairly bingo -y, and I've created a new bingo lane. For bingo's ending EST. Fortunately, all the eyes have gone. Not seeing anything with my rack down from the eye. I keep checking this woven hook, but there are only seven tiles before the T, so small doesn't play there. Now, do I have an MAC play or an MEC play? I, I do, I have Mackle. Pretty good. Doesn't take out the ST danger in row O, but it scores well. What if that is blocked? And it is agony. Decent score, an opponent just gets rid of one point tiles and we are dead level. What a situation, 14 tiles in the bag. And my M can go in front of the Y. Does Small have an anagram? Don't think so. No front hooks for R. This is such a tricky board to play on. Just wondering about playing Mackle down here. Opponents play off two vowels, only six vowels left. Thirty points, decent score. Just feel bad about providing a floating E. This is twenty two points. Doesn't feel good either. Five minutes on my clock. I'm really struggling in this game, not really sure why. It feels like an, any candidate play provides more for my opponent than I really want to provide. I certainly don't want to burn both of my vowels unless the score is really good. Fourteen points for Mal. Yeah, maybe Roo is the only bingo lane. Yeah, maybe Mal is the only bingo lane, or Roo G is the only bingo lane. Mal takes that out. 
leaving just row O. But only 14 points, I mean, really. Pretty tragic. Four minutes on my clock. And it was 30 points for Mackle. And we're dead level. Okay, I may regret this massively. And the remaining tiles look pretty bingo-y. And I only have the solitary vowel, but I do have scoring tiles in the W and the H. Just waiting for a bingo to come down in row O. And that will be enough for opponent. I don't think I have a bingo through that myself, even though I have the less ending. But I could play something like Howled to kill the lane, but then that leaves row G available. But row G is slightly restricted in terms of the tiles that can go above the Y. Pretty low scoring game. I think I had a very low scoring one recently. Well, this is another. But it's in the nature of Scrabble that some trends just exist over a long period of time. Nine minutes on opponent's clock. Is he going to bingo? And did I have an alternative to Mackle? Probably. Wow, opponent did not play in that spot. Interesting. And six tiles in the bag. Gosh. I still think Mackle was a shocking play. Maybe Maced would have been better, putting a D, a consonant in row O. Three minutes on my clock. Howled is 17 points. I'm taking out a bingo lane. I am leaving one in the bag. Judgeless was probably good. 54 points. 54 points. Yeah, and I may be able to outrun... Ah, I don't have an S. Great, let me go back to plan A, and I must be short on time now. Three minutes on my clock. So, does opponent have a bingo in row G? He's got a B for going above the Y, so he may have. He could have Blarney, in which case he wins. But maybe he doesn't. I don't have a bingo, this is hopelessly unbalanced, but if opponent doesn't bingo, this turn, I can take out that lane. And I may be far enough ahead to outrun opponent, so I think opponent has to bingo to win. Ah, oh, there's column 15 as well, beginning with the I. That's less useful given the remaining pool. I think opponent's going to bingo or play off one tile. If he's got B and P, they lack synergy, so he may not be bingoing. Now, are there any floating vowels or two letter sets which could provide me a bingo? There's E, L. Not seeing anything there. Nothing with the I. All these S's are nowhere particularly great to play them. Yeah, just very few places to play the S. Judges, Queens, but that's not scoring very much. And again, ST, just 19 points. But if a pennant doesn't bingo, 19 points could be quite handy. And it prever preserves the E. Opponent taking a long time with this play. What has he got? And do I have any three letter extensions for judge? Don't think I do.
Six minutes on opponent's clock, two minutes on nine. And opponent does have a bingo. And he's got an R. Judger, I think, is good. Far is good, so he is going out. So I think the best I can do is stress. Which I don't think is going to be enough. 32 points. Not quite agony. Any alternative plays? I don't think so. So opponent's just got to play his R, and there are a ton of spots available for that. Such a close game, just five points between us at the moment. And the final score, 381 for me, 403 for my opponent, a winning margin of 22 points, so well done to my opponent. Let's see what I missed. That felt a strange game. Mackle felt shockingly bad, but let's find out. It was me to go first, and I played Zooey, which was a great start. Opponent plays Ivory, and I have Zupan, so, so far so good. Opponent plays Grok, and now I hit the first troublesome rack. Wow, nice. Well, I was saying nice about Ferry E, but actually the rack leave of double I is much worse than AI, so I think Fury is a better play. Nice rack for opponent, and he misses a bingo. Biryani plays Inia. And J5 Amiga. Ah, interesting. I switched from Amiga to Agami. But actually Amiga, pretty well, same scores. And Amiga only takes an S, keeps lit, scores 30 points. And I play Ami for 26, which actually is fine. Doesn't gift row O. And the score's not massively different, and the rack leaves not massively different either. Now, opponent's rack, great bingo. And he draws level. And what do I do here? I play Git for 17. J3. Atigi. Quite nice. Nearly 10 more points. Only takes an S. Probably worth doing. And this is a rack I struggled with. Although Git does, does make it in 5th position. And the rack leave of tail is not bad. So I think Atigi is better, but not massively. Opponent's rack plays queen. And now I struggled here and I played ticks for 25 and only five more points on offer. And my rack leave with two vowels, much better than, than Clint. So I'm happy with my play. Horrible rack for opponent with F, V and W. Gets rid of two of them. And here we go. Dulcian and Incudal both good. And I think Dulcian does take an A, so... I'm happy with that three-point sacrifice. Opponent plays fetch. Now, did I miss a bingo here? No, I didn't. What do I do? I play caddy for 42, keeping sats. Yep, I think that's fine. Nothing obviously better. Opponent plays jog. Wow, no miss, missed bingo here. And this is the move I t spent an age over and I was looking for something in column 15 through this H and there is a play there's Matsar yeah I think I would have played that what do I do I play Shote yeah I think Matsar would have been better it wouldn't have provided a bingo lane and it would have taken out both of these two lesser lanes and I was leading so key moment and I think Matsar would have been a much better play but what are these other options? N10. Oh, well, they're just plays underneath in Qdle, which open row O. And mascot also quite nice. Now, opponent's rack plays Recon. And I have smalled. Could not see anywhere for it. And here we go. I played Mackle for 30. Mace would have been much better not providing a floating vowel. But keeping double L, so maybe that's why I didn't immediately consider it. And then the play which I was considering was Mal, which would have killed 
that bingo lane, not created a new one, but would have left alone the ST ending in, in row O. So plenty to think about there. Now, opponent's rack. No bingo, plays judge. And I play howled here to take out this E, which was the better bingo lane. Opponent only has by plane, wow. But he does have judgeable for nearly the same score. And now finally stress is best. So what a game. Really close, but opponent just managed to edge it. I think the two key plays were Shote and Mackle. Both of them, well certainly Shote had a better alternative in Matsar. And I think Mackle possibly had either Maced as a better play or Mal as a better play. But anyway, quite a few interesting racks to consider there. Many thanks to my opponent for a good battle. I hope you enjoyed watching that game and I will see you next time.